kind of we've we spoke about um the lightbringer stuff but i mean uh-huh. as you can imagine through twitter and facebook people were asking you know when are we heading back to the world of uh kyla and Dezo? and some something i want to ask about before we get into the weddings is how do you feel kind of when people ask you that is it like a compliment is it hurtful is it a bit of both <laughs> Um, I, I think it's, it's a bit of both, but I, I choose to take it as, as a compliment. Um, Night Angel, I, I feel like the reason it's a bit of both is, um, because I, I feel like I work really hard to become a better writer with every book. And I, and I think that's something that, that people have, have commented on, like, like I work on my weak areas and I, I get better. So like I feel like my most recent book and and probably a lot of authors feel this way, but but I feel like I am getting better and I feel like these books are significantly um, <clears throat> structurally and pacing and exposition and um, depth of character um, are are better. Um, they're more original. They're more creative. So, so so on and so forth than than the Night Angel books. You know, C- certainly I hope in the last. You know, I started I started writing Night Angel when I was 25. I'm a uh, oh good lord, I'm 39 now. Um, <laughs> um, I I hope I've grown in that time. Um, by the same token, it's 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 like I love those characters myself. I'm I'm really eager to go back and and visit the ones who are still alive and you know thin down that number so that fewer of them are still alive. <laughs> Uh, um, Stop really uh, asking the question. No, they're all dead now. We're never going back. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, uh, well, it, it didn't work for Sherlock Holmes, did it? You know, you, uh, people love you too much. You're just going to keep coming back. Oh wait, I, I already, uh, I already set that up. Um, uh, but it, it's, it's, but, but I do realize that um, that Night Angel has a lot of um, built-in things that I, I, I guess maybe I did, I did write accidentally, um, or, or. I took on I, I took on um, uh, characters who are a little harder to immediately um, identify with in in the Lightbringer series. Um, yeah, you got you got a fat kid. Like the first thing you see is is you know he's hitching up his pants or whatever, and and, and he's awkward and and. And it, it's like, wait, wait, who who wants to be who wants to be the fat kid? Like, like it's a little harder to bond with with that character, this multiracial, you, you know, fat kid who's who's got a mouth, and that's a little harder to bond with than just the orphan struggling to make it on the streets, you know, who's who who's very easy to just slip into his shoes, um, and then and then you just stay with you just stay with Kyler as he's going through things. Um, where, where in Lightbringer, like then you have the fat kid at one end, and then you have absolutely the emperor of the world, who is who's good looking and arrogant and powerful and rich, and like he, his shoes are also a little hard to step into. So, so, so and and the world is so complicated that <clears throat> that the, that the book is it's it's more original, but it's slower. It's slower to get into Lightbringer. Whereas Night Angel, it was like okay, this world at least at the beginning looks very familiar. You can just hop right in and stuff happens. Wham! You know, and, and, and so, so, so I get that the on-ramps to the books are very different um, to, to enjoying what's good about this world. It takes longer with, with Lightbringer. So, so, so when people are like, oh, yeah, I, I just love that experience that I had with Night Angel, I'm, I'm still very flattered. But, you know, I, I just I did different storytelling things. I, 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 I took um, I took different trade-offs with, with those two worlds. So, um so 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 yeah. I when when people love Night Angel, I'm like I love Night Angel too. You know, I it's it, it's like your first kid, and, and 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 you know one leg might be shorter than the other, but but like you, you still love them. You know, they broke their nose and it's a little crooked, but like hey, that's my kid, um, and he'll still whip your ass if you give him too much too much you know guff. Um, so so um so so. It, I, I choose to take it, you know, as a compliment, and um, uh, and that's fun. It's it, they're different books, so, so, so they're going to resonate differently. Um, and and I, I they they've been in the back of my head for a long time because I, I I know the next question will be, you know, when are you writing more? the the, the plan is to uh, the plan is to uh, write a Night Angel book next, um, 
and I've been, um, I've, I've been juggling different ideas for, for a really long time. I mean, the, the whole time I've been writing Lightbringer, I've been thinking about Night Angel <clears throat> because I have sort of two different, um, I, I have a, I have a lot of actually different ways to do this. What I think I'm going to do is, is, um, I think I'm going to write a, 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 this is not a promise, you know, because I might come up with a different idea. Um, but I, I, I think I'm going to write a, a Kyler novel next. And I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be a little different. Um, <clears throat> I think it will pick up right after, uh, the, the, soon after, you know, six months, maybe, maybe one month, um, after, uh, the night, the events, the events of the night, night angel trilogy, but it'll, it'll just be, it'll just be a Kyler book. It'll be a first person point of view, uh, which, which is different. It's, um, and it's it, not multi point of view, just his, it'll just be his story. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel like, um, that'll be one, one interesting, uh, for readers, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, just staying really tightly focused. And it'll be interesting for me as a writer and an artist to, uh, to take on the challenge of, of, of just doing one character and doing a really tight, um, a, a tight knit novel that, that just has, um, it, like usually I have all these characters and you're doing all these different things and you have all these different kinds of plot lines and you get to see all different parts of the world and you have different kinds of emotional payoff as you do that. But the word count just sprawls and, and sometimes those books can get a little more loose and I, and I want to do a story that's really tight um, and, and hopefully has a, has a shorter word count as well. But, 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 but more is um, more is, is learning that tightness of focus uh, I think is is going to be helpful for me as as an artist moving forward. It's like okay, I can do the big sprawling. Can I do the really tight and just like hits you in the sternum at the end, and then you, you know kind of has this one big impact um, that that novelists who write shorter books often do. Um, that, that that's the uh, yeah. so, so 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 that that's my idea right now. I do have um, in my head. Um, I have a lot more stories for ongoing with the, with the characters of night angel who are, who are still alive. Um, and, and, and what they do. And I, and I, I, when I started out, I wrote a night angel novel that was set, uh, 20 years later. Uh, and, and that novel is, is unpublishable, but like, I know all the stuff that happens. So like, I know, it, so I can keep all the world building that I did. Um, and use that as I move forward. I, okay, so I know where I am, and I know where the world is going to be in 20 years. So now I can do fun stuff from here to there. Um, so, so, so I'm not sure when I'm going to write those stories, uh, whether those will be directly after this next Night Angel novel or or not. It sort of depends on, am I ready for that? Because that's probably you know another 10 years worth of novels right there. And I, and I have these other ideas that I want to write too. And I, I just wish I could write a lot faster because there's other things I want to try and, and, and I'm not sure when to do those, you know? So that's my, awesome. <sighs> I wish I could just do a Sanderson and just, you know, <laughs> here's a great idea. I'll make this into a novel in two months and, and be done. It just doesn't work that way for me. But his reply to everything is like, "Don't write that fast." <laughs> yeah, no, I know. He always says that. It's like, dude, I think you've done thirty novels in the last ten years. That's fact. And, and and not all of them are little, <laughs> you know. <laughs> not so. little. So. 